Welcome to this week's service of the Des Moines United Methodist Church. We're glad to have you here to worship with us. Today is the 4th of July, a day of celebration. Let us pray with the heat and the dryness that everything is safe and people are cautious with how they celebrate. Next week is July 11th, and that will be the first Sunday when we are allowed to come into the church and, well, and worship in the sanctuary. So we hope you will join us at that time. We will be coming into the welcome desk and we will be glad to see you. There will also be still a virtual worship service for those that are not able to attend the in-church service. So one way or another, we will see you again. Welcome. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary. This is how their declaration begins. It is necessary. We will not live under the tyranny of foreign monarchs or anybody else who chooses themselves to rule over us. Period. 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 Nice sentiment, but I didn't really think much about it, you know? After all, it was their declaration, not mine. Not mine. Not mine. But, ugh, when I was a kid. I loved the 4th of July. I love fireworks. Sparklers. Firecrackers. Most of all, I love the rockets. And the rockets, regular. The bombs bursting in air. Then one day it struck me. Those aren't party favors. Those were instruments of war and of.
terrible sacrifice. Thomas Jefferson said that the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots. He knew what was coming. When they signed the declaration, they were signing their own death warrant. Their only hope was to sign together. If we don't hang together, Benjamin Franklin said, we will hang separately. So why take such a risk? Why face such ridiculous odds? Because all men are created equal, they said. And endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Period. Period. That was the key. If God was behind it, it was necessary. And they must have thought he was because they were willing to die for it. Was I? Listen, I may have liked fireworks, but... But then suddenly I realized... I have to participate in this or it all comes apart. This isn't a thing that happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. This is something that's happening right now. And if I don't participate, we the people, right? Then I'm declaring my dependence over those tyrants that chose themselves to rule over me. So God dropped me in the middle of this crazy experiment and said, what are you gonna do? So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to participate in this crazy, impossible, beautiful democracy thing, this America. I may not be one of its founders, but I am one of its continuers. And this is my declaration. My declaration. My declaration. My declaration. My, my declaration. declaration.
Let us share together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Together, let us share the words of thanksgiving. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to Yahweh, our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us give thanks and praise to you, O bread of life. We give thanks for your abundant creation called forth in ancient times upon the earth and manifested in your grace when you created us in your very image. From ancient times you fed us, nourished us, and strengthened our souls for this journey. 
in the days of wandering in the wilderness, in the songs of the psalmist, in the harsh wisdom of the prophets, you have offered us the water of righteousness and the bread of justice. In the fullness of time, you came to us in the presence of Jesus Christ, the bread of abundant life, eternal living water. Even when facing death, Christ gave thanks and was faithful. We remember these gifts as we proclaim the mystery of faith, saying, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Hosanna in the highest. Hear these words of institution from the Apostle Paul from 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26. These words have been shared by Christians for centuries to bless the elements of communion. So let us share these words together. I received a tradition from the Lord, which I also hand on to you. On the night on which he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread. After giving thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He did the same thing with the cup after they had eaten, saying, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Every time you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you broadcast the death of the Lord until he comes. Grant us your grace and shower your spirit upon these gifts. Let us take a moment to share the bread and the cup. And hear these words as our closing prayer. Gracious and almighty God, who has taken us through all of the times of our lives, thank you for the gifts of this bread and wine. May they nourish our souls to life eternal. Amen. 